Welcome back to my channel. It's Jin here in today's video. I'll be showing you how I clean our fireplace area. So as you can see, I'm in our fireplace area. So um, at the moment, it's springtime or spring season here in New Zealand. And we decided that we don't need firewoods anymore and we don't need fire anymore because we can just put up with the weather. The weather in springtime here is not that cold anymore. So yeah, I'm so excited for summer on December. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I'm going to show you how I clean our fireplace. So as you can see, this is our fireplace area. And look at that. It's a lot of mess and it's a disaster there. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. So that's our fireplace there. As you can see, it's so dirty. There's a lot of dust everywhere and it really needs to be cleaned up and yeah so it's a disaster look at that there's heaps of cardboards everywhere over there and the wo the woods there is just a mess so that's just the woods left so yeah all right so for me to start cleaning i need to have all the uh equipments needed uh for me to clean the fire so um I need a brush and a dust pan. So, and also I need this um, steel dust pan. So uh, we use these uh, to get all the ashes from our fireplace, just in case there are still hot ashes left inside it. And I have this bucket as well, so I can put all the ashes that I'm going to uh, take out from our fireplace. So let's go. trying to arrange uh, the woods left or pallets left I'm trying to segregate them and yeah uh, I'm now trying to um, clean or get rid of the uh, small ones or the bits of pieces there and just throw it put it in the um, bucket so um, I need to get rid of those small bits before I'm going to do the vacuum So now I'm trying to move this a single couch there so I can vacuum the area um, easily. So uh, we decided to put that single couch there because we love it on there, especially uh, sitting there and next to the fire, especially winter time. Baby, baby, don't be cold I will warm you Every 
So I am using a shark vacuum cleaner. So I really love this uh, vacuum because yeah, there's a lot of you can just adjust it if you want the um, there's a lot of handles and um, we bought it for um, 150 bucks only or New Zealand dollars. So you can't believe it guys. It's pretty new, but it's only 150 because we just bought it from our friend. He decided to uh, sell it because he needs the money. And um, yeah, he, it was new and we are so lucky because the brand new is 500 bucks. So now I'm trying to get rid of ladies' papers or junk mails there. Uh, those papers, uh, we use it to light up the fire during winter time and now we don't need it anymore so i'm putting it in the cardboard box so i can put it in the garage and we'll use it for the next winter Now I am starting to clean the inside of our park place so getting rid of those papers inside there that we were not able to burn and all the um, ashes left there. So our fireplace is pretty old guys as uh, this fireplace was built in on nine, 1980s when this house is built so as you can see that it it really looks old so now my husband is trying to help me because um, it's just a lot of ashes there that we need to get rid of and it is also hard because there are a lot of nails there because we are using a lot of pallets and the pallets that we use uh, there's a lot of nails in there so yeah so after that, uh, we are going to throw that ashes um, in our backyard or we have sort of a particular place there in our backyard so we can throw it. It's at the back of our yucca plant. So we make sure that we put the ashes or nails at the back of the uh, you get a tree at the back of our house or backyard so uh, no one will be able to step on it and no one uh, will see it as well so it's hidden. So now I am um, already dusting there so getting rid of the dust using the brush so just brush it up. <laughs> so as you can see guys uh, that's how I decorate. Uh, that's how our fireplace looks like so um we have bookshelves there at the left side and so if you're wondering why we have um wood there at on our wall uh the reason why we put that on there or plywood uh just to protect the original wall because uh during winter time uh we used to have a pile or pile of heaps of woods there we stuck up of woods there during winter time um, because we don't really want to like keep on getting fire firewoods um, outside because <laughs> it's just you know guys just to save effort so yeah and I want to leave that uh, plywood there 
and please stay tuned so you'll be able to see what it's going to look like after sorry for being for being a mess i gave my best but was too late but was too late oh, yeah. we talk about this can't forget i'm saying So now I'm almost done and as you can see, as you notice, I am replacing or putting a new plant there which is the cactus plant because my bromel yet unfortunately got died maybe because I left it in there during winter time and the fire is always on at night. So that's pretty much a lesson learned for me that I don't need to leave any plants there during winter time so it won't die because of the heat of the fire. So now I'm trying to decorate or um, organize, clean this um, sort of uh, side table there or yeah. So I am confused what I'm going to choose if it's the white one or the, uh, the white cloth or the, um, the other one which is gray. So <laughs> fingers crossed what I'm going to pick or choose hi guys so i just finished cleaning and organizing our fireplace and it's a lot cleaner and more organized and i'm so happy the outcome so i can't wait to show you the after reveal so there you go guys and three two one everything what I put in there guys especially the plant so the purpose of the plant there is just to distract the view of the plywood there because it's not too good to look and I have some books there as well uh, that's gardening books and I have a um, succulent at the bottom of our side table or shelf so I hope you enjoy this guys and if you do please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe so thank you so much for watching again. Love you guys. See you on my next one. Bye loves.